Today we're 3D printing a mousetrap and this mousetrap is actually more than a decade old. So this is a design from Thingiverse and it's actually extremely good. I think it's brilliant. I don't know if it actually works, I haven't caught anything yet, but the reviews for this 3D model do say that it works. So we're going to go ahead and build it. I decided to print this off in clear plastic. Um, I thought it was going to be a bit cooler looking in clear plastic. Ends up looking a little bit yucky actually. I think we could have gone for a, a maybe two tone design here with the actual colors. So that would be what I'd redo. But yeah, we're going to just assemble this bad boy. So you've got the piece in there, which is kind of like the ramp, which flips over when something goes into the back, where of course the bait will be. And you've got this piece here, which goes down and this is what locks this piece in. So you can lift this up to access the bait. And uh, of course, that's where the mouse hopefully will go in order to try and get this. And if they do, they come in, they tip the ramp, and that is what triggers the door to close, as we'll see shortly. Overall design though for this is really cool. It is pretty big, but I do really like the design once it's fully assembled. And you can see here, this locks in quite nicely. And assembly overall is quite simple. Initially, you're looking at all the parts going, geez, how is this all going to get? Once you figure it out, it's actually awesome. This uh, purple bit we're adding in here, this is kind of the locking mechanism. So when the door closes, that will actually stop the door opening back up. And yeah, we're actually almost done putting this together. We just got to put the front door on. And then once we've done that, put the top on and that's it. We'll be all complete. And yeah, whatever you do, don't print this in clear if you're going to do it. I think uh, something nice, colorful would be better. So we're going to put the top one now, and this is just a demonstration of how it works. So as you can see, the door is opened by, or kept open by that little bit. And then of course a mouse would walk in. It would then go far enough to flip that, which would then disconnect the door. The door would then close behind it. And the actual piece that we're putting on top of this would then fall down, resulting in it uh, locking whatever's inside and not allowing it to get out. So here's the final part. And yeah, I also think it looks pretty cool. You know, I think if I'd printed this and say, let's just say all purple or all white or something like that, I think this would have looked insanely cool. And then, yeah, I'll give you a quick demonstration of what would happen if a mouse was to walk in, come to the bait and flip over the thingy. You then have this close and you see the purple bit is closed behind the door, which means that there is no way for something else to get in and it's impossible for something to get out. And the reviews for this do say that they've noticed that the mice, of course, will try to chew their way out, but apparently they do not get successful. So yeah, really interested to see if I'm actually going to catch anything. I'll put this out and I'll see if it does catch anything at all. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.